Welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. So welcome. We are in our cycle of a full moon and the Aquarius season right now. And what is this Leo full moon going to have to affect each and every one of us in a special way as we embark in a season of family, groups, society, community, and much more. So the Leo full moon is going to access about four to five areas that you can take a look at in your life as it shows up as the tide is rising with the full moon and want to share some areas that you want to write down, look into depth about for yourself. And I'll talk to you about setting that up with your intentions and releasing it with your um, Joss paper or some brown paper or in your journal. So Leo is embodying uh, five special uh, things you need to work with, okay? And that is leadership, compassion, vulnerability, strength, and most importantly and above all things, love. So Leo's energy is, is overseeing the full moon energy, okay? And we are really uh, encouraged to focus on our truths, okay? And one area of truth is vulnerability. Now, vulnerability is listening to your heart and vulnerability may mean putting yourself in a position that may lead you into another position that you don't fully know the total outcome, okay? That's one area that the Leo full moon will focus on. The other area is, um, looking at compassion. Compassion can be many areas in your life of the Leo energy. Compassion can be compelled with um, looking within about some areas that you need to continuously work on, which could be in the area of forgiveness, maybe compassion with others, maybe compassionate first and foremost of yourself, you know, in errors that you may have made or you know, some areas that you feel that you're not in, you're unsure of, but having compassion on yourself that you're moving towards a direction that will be a better fulfillment of yourself. And then we have leadership, the energy of leadership. Now, leadership also falls in some different arenas with the Leo, with maybe spotlighting, bringing into some self-development and leadership. Do you maybe need to be taking some leadership courses to help you? Maybe looking at some self-development plans for yourself. Leadership, maybe taking the leap to take a promotion that you've been interested in and you're unsure of. Maybe taking leadership of creating another avenue for yourself that is unknown to you yet. But if you put in the work of uh, aligning yourself, maybe putting a plan together, to take that leap of promotion and leadership, then it will uh, manifest itself because you developed it through your creativity. And then we have strength. Leo brings in that strength, that infinite strength that is from within. You know, it's an infinite strength that sometimes you don't even know that you have it. You don't even know that you have it, but the full moon will illuminate herself around you into your strength, into your strength. And only you know what that is. So comment down below what area of strength you need to release and, and put out there into the universe to develop yourself. And most, most importantly, area is love. Love is in many areas, okay, of your life. There, there are different uh, facets of love. Okay. So love can be for you with this release is aligning itself with the creativity, the vulnerability, the, the leadership and the strength, but love is doing something out of not understanding it all, but love will conquer the fear to do what it is that you're supposed to do. Cause fear will creep up in areas, maybe being in fear of loving someone else, getting into a new relationship, 
Love can be maybe the unknown if there's a family member that is dealing with a sickness and you're unknown on what the outcome is going to be, but because you love them, you're going to support them and understand that ultimately you, you don't have control over matters, but the divine does and the outcome will be the outcome. Okay. But you will be there to support with your love. Okay. Um, that might be an area. All right. So this Leo full moon is taking you for the long run of taking you into, um, as it goes through the lunar cycle of closing back up and waning and going to a new, new moon coming up. Okay. in the Pisces energy. And as it's starting to close from the full moon and moving out into waning, closing, you'll be doing some work with these five areas and seeing them even develop even more because you're releasing them out. Now, to work with this full moon, orange will be a great uh, core, core color to burn. Since this full moon falls on a Sunday, February the 5th, this will be great for you to generating um, a more potent, powerful energy of fluidity, of abundance, of, of just raising you up. Orange illuminates, it illuminates, and it's a power color of Leo, okay? You can also use um, some crystals of um, um, rose. You can use a rose quartz. Um, citrine is great to use as well with this full moon. Also, you could do a great spiritual bath with it. I certainly will encourage you to do that with some two cups of sea salt to sit in the tub as you allow the water to cleanse over through you and around you, okay? And you, it'd be a nice deep cleanse coming up through this release energy. You could also release with writing on Joss paper, which is ancestor paper. You can do that as well, writing out your release on it and then rolling it, rolling it away from you. Okay, you take it and roll it away from you. And then you'll burn it and take those ashes and blow them into the wind as the full moon is in full bloom. You can also take the time to get out and get illuminated by this full moon in bloom so that that way you're going into a different direction surged with this Leo confidence energy, okay? So we also have an altar vigil going on right now. You can join it by going to the website and you can see that I have it going across here the screen. You can go to the website and join it. So you know that you have um, strong five areas to look through and that is leadership, compassion, vulnerability, strength, and love, okay? I love you for watching today. Have a wonderful full moon and bloom and Leo. Continue to grow and go in everything that you do and trust in. Uh, don't forget to um, sign up for the website. I would love to have you there. I can keep in the loop with you as well as if you would like to follow us here, the North Node Tribe on the YouTube channel, we would love to have you. You just do it by hitting the bell and hitting to subscription, and then we'll come up in your algorithm and you will see us for daily lives and so much more. You can contact me for a personalized reading. Go to the website, you'll see all the offerings that are available for you. And I will see you next time.